Martin Henderson is the director of the UCLA Marching Band. The drum major is Frank Silva. As we look down from overhead, the shadow starting to grow and the temperature is dropping a bit here in Pasadena, but 70 degrees at kickoff this afternoon. UCLA, while we wait for their band to play the first number, scoring in the first quarter on a long, sustained 79-yard drive. Quarterback Tom Ramsey sneaking in for the score. And then a 40-yard field goal by John Lee in the second period, and that's the scoring 10-0 UCLA leading Michigan at halftime. the UCLA band entertains here at halftime a visit to the campus in Westwood, California. It's furnished by the Pasadena Tournament of Roses Association on behalf of UCLA. Sweet Georgia Brown. Concert uh, number Count Basie now the subject of this piece of Bruin entertainment. Approach the second half. UCLA leading 10 0. We'll be back after these words. Rose Bowl in Pasadena. UCLA band in the card section for the halftime entertainment. The score is 10 0 here. UCLA over Michigan. Let's check now New York. Len Berman. All right, Don, we'll look forward to your report from the Orange Bowl. UCLA. Most entertaining halftime, and their fans seem pretty pleased with the results of the first 30 minutes of football play as well, leading the University of Michigan 10 to nothing. Dick Kendrick with a grand marshal of this Tournament of Roses parade, Merlin Olson, and your heart's still beating rapidly. I can feel it. Still beating rapidly, but what a marvelous experience. Uh, I've loved the Rose Bowl as a participant, as uh, just as an observer, the parade, the, the game, and we've had such fun here, Dick, uh, bringing this beautiful bowl game and this Tournament of Roses to fans all around the country, all around the world. All right, we started the game today talking about Anthony Carter of the University of Michigan, that he was a key player. UCLA had to stop him. All right, now your feelings about the first 30 minutes. They started using Carter as a decoy early. They finally got to him. Smith started to get to him. He had four receptions for 44 yards. At about that point, he got hurt. UCLA has been very wise, too. They've kicked the ball away from him on the punt. They've kicked it out of the end zone. He has not had his hands on the ball. And now coming onto the field as Michigan leaves will be UCLA's Bruin Band under the direction of Gordon Henderson. And there's something interesting about Mr. Henderson. He is a man that went to the University of Kentucky and he used to watch Kentucky play UCLA in basketball. One of the biggest rivalries of all time. And you know, they each won national championships. Well, Mr. Henderson left that bluegrass state and came out to the mountains near San Gabriel, California, and the Rose Bowl to lead UCLA. And as the Bruin Band comes onto the field, they will come on playing a 17th century madrigal. The pageantry continues with the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, and here comes UCLA. <laughs>
Outstanding performance by the UCLA Bruin Marching Band under the direction of Gordon Henderson. Our thanks also to Michigan. The pageantry is over, but the game is not. It is UCLA 10, Michigan nothing, and back to Pasadena after this. At the Rose Bowl, the band is still on the field, but so are the teams coming on the field. And at halftime, Bud, we're all thinking about Steve Smith. Will he be able to return to lead Michigan? The word that we had, John, is that they had an x-rays made, but they believe he has a possible shoulder separation. I would assume if they're x-raying it, that it'll be too sore for him to play, and that is his throwing arm. Well, we will see what happens in the second half, but let us now look back, number one, to the turnovers, because Michigan could be in this ball game certainly a lot better than the 10 to nothing score now indicated. Well, they moved the ball down the field extremely well. Smith threw the ball to Rodgers. They were all thrown very, very hard, went through Rodgers' hands, and was intercepted by UCLA's Rodgers. So that turnover cost them points on the board. And then Carter trying to handle the punt right at the end of the first half, fumbling the punt, set up the field goal. So those two turnovers were crucial for Michigan. All right, what about Anthony Carter? What about getting those punts from Kevin Bonafay and being able to run them back for the big play? Has another chance yet? Well, he's got 30 more minutes, and I don't think he's going to do it on the kickoff because they go through the end zone. And the teams are about ready to start the second half of the 1983 Rose Bowl. As we look at the statistics here, the thing that surprises me, Bud, we kept talking about 74 yards gained.